so pretty. I'm so glad you made me wake up. <laughs> Hey homies, I'm gonna take you to one of the best summers of my entire life. This is the summer that I lived in a sailboat for about two weeks in the Aegean Sea with a lot of different strangers that I did not know that shortly after became a family. We saw the Greek ruins and we were pretty excited to see the Greek ruins. We went to about more than five different Greek islands and we also hiked some of Greece's most beautiful mountains saw some beautiful sunsets and shared a lot of good wine with great people. Almost died riding an ATV through the island of Paros in Greece. And we also worked with Aegean Airlines, which is the best regional airline in Europe. This was the best study abroad experience I've ever heard of in my life. So I wanted to bring you guys along. It all started when we landed in Athens and this dude told me to go to bed because it was late, but then he went to bed in the hotel lobby. The first day of the trip was Athens and this was our hotel view. Before the trip started, they gave us a little booklet with all of the important information of how to live in a boat, which islands are we gonna go to, and they give us also a flexible itinerary of the islands because since we are sailing, everything has to be flexible because it's variated by the winds. Since we only had one day in Athens, we had to go to the Acropolis of Athens, and if you don't know what Acropolis means, it comes from the Greek word highest peak city because the Acropolis is 500 feet above the city of Athens, so it's right at the top which is really cool because you have this entire view of the Greek city and then here you can take pictures like this and like this and it's just a very cool area where you can see all the ancient Greek ruins and then on your way out from the Acropolis there's also a museum that you can go check out to see all the artifacts. <laughs> Okay, but then we started really going to the boats and we got there, we got everything set up on the boats so we could make sure we were ready for sail. And when we started our sail, we said our goodbyes. And then it was time to start our sail for the two weeks that we were gonna stay out there in the ocean. And when I first woke up the first day out there, this was the view from the boat. So it was four girls staying in this boat. This was our view from the first island that we were going to. And this is how sailing felt like. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our first island called Kithnos. It was beautiful approaching the island because we were seeing all these cool buildings with the white and the blue and the cool boats and our captain was doing cool sailing into the approach of the island. And we were finally able to go down, get some lunch and also explore the island. So we also took a bunch of pictures because we were matching the buildings. Those are just some of the pictures we took. So this is honestly where my story gets interesting. We get to this island and we're walking around all day after going out the night before. We take all these beautiful pictures. We're having a really good time, but my foot hurts the entire time and I don't know why. I go back to the boats just to realize that um, I had about eight sea urchins stuck in my foot. And let's just say it was not pretty. <laughs> Just the way we're I just don't want to do it. Do you want to stop for tonight? Yeah, it doesn't hurt. You said five minutes. I'll give you five minutes. Sorry, Brandon. Oh, this is the. Yeah. Over here, we must turn it. Uh -huh. We must turn it. This distance, it's this, this part of the this compass. Distance. Our captain was really cool, so he taught us how to sail the actual boat and steer it and where to go. And all the girls had their turns and we all were sailing to the next island. The next island was Serifos. And Serifos was really cool because of that bridge that was leading to nowhere. It was just super interesting, so we all just kind of got down. Those were the boats we were staying at, by the way. We all just kind of got down and just started walking towards there. Oh, I get it. It was a roller coaster.
Okay, but jokes aside, this is called the Bridge to Nowhere, and it used to be used in the 20th century, back when this island was super big in the mining industry, but it collapsed because of a French company, so the bridge was just left there. Those were our four boats that we were staying at, so that was pretty cool. Next up, we got Sifnos, and Sifnos might have been one of my favorite ones because if you look at this water, it was such blue water that this was where I was like, okay, yes, I'm in Greece. And when we got there, it was just so beautiful and pretty, and it was a really great time. It was the classic Greek island that everyone kind of looks for in their life when they imagine Greece. I mean, look, you can even see the little blue roofs right there. We were all like, blue roof, we are in Greece, and all the buildings were white. There's a screensaver if you want it. The next day we continued our journey to another island called Milos, but the winds were a little bit heavier, so if you see the boats, they're actually quite tilted. So if you see right here, actually, do you see that right there? Right there, right there. There's That's not 90 degrees. We are tilted. We are very tilted. So it was very scary because the window was just looking at the ocean and it was very scary because we were so tilted in the ocean, but it was fun. It was like a really fun experience to be out in the ocean with the wind so high. And then we finally made it to Milos and in Milos, we rapidly rented Jeeps and just went on to explore the island. The first place we went to is called Sarakiniko Beach. And this beach is made up of these white volcanic rocks. And this is often compared to the surface of the moon so it was beautiful to see that and then we kept going in our jeeps to another volcanic area where it had amazing views and then the girls decided it was time for a nice sunset time so we went we got some wine and we sat in this bench and we had our wine the next day we went to a cute fishing town called polonia we also did very cool hikes that day and i also got on top of the boat to see the sunset look at that that's so cool oh and did i forget to tell you guys that we stole a dog I believe I can fly. Nope. The next two days we spent going to Paros, so we were sailing most of the time, but we like to stay close to the island so we could see a lot of the cool island views. And then this one was really cool because we saw a cool little bridge with that church, and it was so, so, so cute. And then we saw a cool big boat, and that night we went to a different island to dock there, and we just docked and stayed the night. But it was cute because we saw that cute little church on top of the mountain, so that was cool. But this is the next day, and this is how it usually looked on a regular sailing day like the other sailboats and us were like really close to each other all the time we all switched over boats and it was really cool but this is us getting to the island of Paros and then I got to prank my friends it's not a picture oh I can <laughs> it's a video I'm on a boat and we finally got to Paros and who are you waving at Monica who are you waving at Oh, the rich boys from that boat. Maybe I should have waved too. Am I right, ladies? Uh, but we got to the island of Paros, and this was the view in the morning. Yeah, look at that. I think I speak for a lot of us when we say that this was one of the most funnest islands we were at. We rented ATVs, and we got on them, and we started riding. Oh my god! <laughs> And the views from this ATV and the entire island of Paros in Greece were just so beautiful. So here's a little montage on how amazing it was to ride this ATV through the island of Paros. The squad made it to the beach and it was really beautiful, but for some reason, I was struggling the entire time at that beach. <laughs> <laughs> After we left the beach, it was just pure amazing views around the island of Paros with the ATVs. Wow. 
Paros was our last island, so this was the night that we had to say goodnight to sailing. So we were kind of sad, but the next morning, one of the girls woke me up super early. She said the sunrise was really pretty. It is so pretty. I'm so glad you made me wake up. And this is how the last sunrise that we spent in the boat looked like. It was a blissful morning, also pretty. We sailed all day, but we also saw dolphins. So look at these dolphins. Look how many there are in that direction. 